Hello, friends. Hello, Moxie Art Party friends. We are about to get started here. Drawing a rooster. We are drawing a rooster. Now, if you go, oops, if you go to the Moxie Artie, Moxie Art Party page, you will see a photo of the rooster that we're drawing. It's kind of like a very bright, colorful European um, rooster. And it's on the page, so you can look at the picture of it if you wanna see what he looks like. Um, but they are just beautiful, and they have these wonderful bright colors. And I thought, how fun would it be for us to draw uh, one of these roosters? Now, people have been drawing roosters in art for centuries, and um, I'm excited to draw one with you guys. This one, I kind of followed the same color palette as the original rooster um, photo, but um, when I draw with you guys today, I'm actually going to change it up a little bit. I'm gonna play with my colors a little, and um, I might go with some brighter colors and change things up. So this is kind of like what it looked like originally, but FYI, I'm gonna play a little bit with my colors um, when we draw together today. Okay, so um, I did use a pencil to draw this one and then went over it in ink. Um, so if that's something that is helpful for you, please, by all means, use the pencil first, then go back in with your marker. Uh, I think that is very, very helpful to do. I, I usually do that in my drawings. I worry on the, on the camera, though, that you can't see it as well, which is why oftentimes um, I draw with the Sharpie first. But, um, you know, really, I think that's a really good habit to get into is to draw in pencil first and then go back over it with your marker. Um, like I said, I didn't, I didn't use a Sharpie first. I used a pencil first. So, FYI. Bria, I think, is going to use a pencil first. I probably should be using a pencil first. Um, but there this, you go. This drawing looks a bit weird but is it hard um it's not gonna be hard i'll break it down for you how's that okay mm -hmm. okay so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna start here at the beak we're gonna build out this red patch for the eyes and the gobbles here and then um we're going to start building the shapes of the rooster and each of these shapes the different colors of feathers i actually we're gonna create those we're gonna draw those in separately. So we actually create that separately. Um, on the art curriculum that is going to be on the um, classroom page, a lot of this stuff um, we're gonna be looking, comparing uh, between the photo and then drawing with our pencil. Uh, so make sure you check that out. It's $10 a month and um, it's a great deal. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, we're ready. Okay, so, oh good. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is with this little triangle here. And we're going to, oh, that looks funny on the end of my marker. What's going on there? Let's see, can I clean that up? There we go, okay. So we're gonna start with this little triangle piece that is our beak, okay? So to get our beak on here, we're just going to draw, um, and we can fold our paper. Right, let's go ahead and fold it. That'll help you guys see where I am on my page. Um, and it will mean that you guys are in the same spot that I'm in. There we go. All right, so now you guys can kind of see where I'm at. Where I'm at. Okay, so I'm gonna see this line, the center line here. I'm gonna come down a little bit and over, and this is where my triangle is gonna go. My triangle is gonna face this way, okay? This way. All right, so I'm gonna do a triangle like this. It's going to come out and then round and come back, okay? Like that, a little bit wider of a triangle, okay? But it's just gonna be a triangle that goes this way and it's going to point this direction. There you go, good job, Bria. And Bria's using a pencil, which is super smart because she can go back and erase and you know, that's always helpful. Okay, so this next part is really interesting. It's going to start right here at the top of my triangle. There's going to be a hump and then a longer hump and then that's gonna come down to a point, okay? So it's going to be a small hump, like that. Okay, a uh, hump. Uh-huh. And then we're going to do a longer hump. So we have our small hump and then a longer hump. Longer hump. 
and then we're going to come to a point. Okay, and then this we're going to bring back in, and we're going to end at the bottom of the triangle. So I'm going to bring this back in and end at the bottom of my triangle. Like that. Okay, and then good. And then we're going to come down here for the gobbles. So one, and they're just kind of like a big round disc shape. And then two, kind of like, like that. Teardrop. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll put a little nose hole right there on the um, nose. Okay. Oh, just right there on the nose. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to start drawing the um, first color of feathers. Now. I followed um, the photo pretty closely, but you guys feel free to draw however you want. You can kind of mix and match or change these um, on your actual drawing, but I'm gonna follow this pretty closely. All right, so I'm gonna come up, and this is going to be the top of the head, okay? So I'm gonna come up to my fold. And actually, I might even bring that in a little bit. Up to my fold about right there. And then I'm going to come around, because this is gonna be the eye right here. That's the eye, yeah. <laughs> Bless you, Bria. You. We're gonna come down to this fold. Like this. Yep, to that center fold, good. And let's go ahead and draw the eye in just so that we know kind of where that's gonna be. And the eye's right here. Okay, and I did a circle and a circle, and then I colored inside here. Kind of helps us with our placement of everything else, I think, sometimes to get an eye in there. Because we're, we're so used to seeing eyes. We're human. Probably recognize animals from plants. Okay. So now we're going to take this line and we're going to kind of zigzag it, rounded maybe zigzagging it. We're going to come up to this gobble here. So we're going to zigzag like this and up. We're going to stop there. Yep. All right, so now we're gonna come down from this gobble here and we're gonna do just a slight curve. Like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this all the way down. Like that. There we go. Yeah, might as well. Like that? Here, okay. And then right here, um, I'm going to come a zigzag down and I'm going to come zigzag up, okay? So kind of in the middle and I don't want to go past this line. So imagine a line going from this point down, okay? That's an imaginary line. I'm just going to kind of come down like this and then I'm going to go up like this. Like straight? No, I just kind of zigzagged it down and then zigged it up. Because imagine these are feathers, so it's a little feathery, okay? All right. Good, Bria. And then All right, and then again, I'm gonna come down here. So I'm gonna draw a line from this point here down. Yeah, you. Um, you can bring it to maybe right here, but you can bring it to there actually, and you can draw some shapes inside, that's fine. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna come down and around like this. And then I can kind of come in and go back up like that. There, like that. Yeah, it's looking great. And, um, and I'm just kind of flowing here. So these aren't exactly following the same pattern and I think that's okay. And then I'm gonna bring this down like this. And down here, you can do just some little zigzags like this. And that's gonna kind of come down like that. And it's gonna come to the edge. Or it might come to the bottom of the paper, depending on kind of where you are. And then our foot, we're actually gonna have a little bit of feathers here for the feet and you know here's a foot here and here's a foot now this foot back here is going to have a little bit of an uh, a bend to it if you can fit it but there's a little bend there okay but you may not be able to fit it because of where your placement is and that's fine okay and then in here we're just going to keep kind of breaking up this space now there is a swooping of like the, the um, wing feathers that comes down here. So you can kind of go down like this and they just kind of come across like this. And then you've got some more that come down here like that and just kind of come up. 
okay? And then I can even break this up in here if I want to. I mean, I can do another little, I can do another color here. Notice how these patterns are not matching this because I'm kind of making up my own patterning, which is kind of fun, okay? I'm actually gonna bring this over here too. And I'm gonna bring this. Okay, all right, how'd we do? We doing good? Yep. Bria's doing good. All right, so let's do this little crown here on top, and it's just going to be rounded like that. Good, and rounded again. Good, and rounded again. I'm just gonna get smaller and smaller, and we're actually going to land right here on the beak. Cute. And then, oh no, that looks great. It looks great. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Bria's over here for a sec so you can see hers is looking great. And she'll draw this line down here to kind of, you know, finish off her shape. But that's looking great. Great, great, great. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna just add just some like, you know, highlighting or definition shapes, just so you can kind of see the shape of everything as we go here. I just think it helps with um, kind of understanding where everything is. There we go. And that kind of comes up, then we can come down like that. And we can bring one here, comes up, and here too. So, okay. And even if you want to do some kind of mouth here, I don't know, you can if you want. Okay? Yeah. All right, all right. Let's Great job. Can I show yours? She got this bottom piece on, see that? So she got this bottom piece on, so she's ready. Now she can just jump in and color or she can go back over with Sharpie. Um, I didn't even use a Sharpie because my Sharpies are looking pretty rough right now. So I actually used um, one of our Crayola Super Tips. All right, so now you can go in and start playing. Like I told you, okay, at the start of the video, this is really following true to colors, um, size and everything of the uh, original photo, but I'm going to play you guys uh, with some colors. So mine's definitely not going to look like the original and I'm totally cool with that. I, I'm really wanting to just kind of experiment with bringing different colors together and um, just kind of see how that turns out. So feel free to um, play a little bit. Let's see. I'm trying to find the right colors. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So I'm going to outline these guys a little bit with this color. Now at this point, you guys can stay with us on the video um, and draw with us, or you um, are certainly welcome to turn off your video and just get creative at home. Notice this bright color. Obviously this is not true to life, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Is you're starting to look like a peacock now that or peacock, because <laughs> you're starting to look like a rooster now that you've got all your colors in and just kind of going. Are Oops. they supposed to have big eyes? Um, you know, they don't necessarily have big eyes. We definitely drew ours with a big eye, didn't we? But they don't, like, in life, do they have a huge big eye? Not exactly, but, you know. I drew, like, a normal size eye. Did you? I, I think I probably, yeah, yours looks a little more normal than mine. I, I think I definitely exaggerated my eye a little bit. But I kind of like that. You're shaking the table. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm feeling now, when you guys are coloring in with your marker, we've talked about this before, but it's really better for your markers if you color in with lines, okay? So as I'm coloring in, I'm outlining my shape. There we go, outline, outline, outline. And then I'm gonna color it in with just drawing lines, okay, see that? And that really helps save your markers. You won't run out so fast of the ink. And um, it helps you get a cleaner application, I think. Can Let's we see. paint? You wanna paint yours? Yeah, I have a little, well it's kind of old water, but you can use that. You wanna use these paints? Which ones? Um, Those, okay. Bria's just jumping into painting. You go, girl. I say, I say go. She is jumping in. I like to test my colors first. You guys know that. I like to test them, see where I am on my colors. An interesting little, like a light orange peach almost color here. I like the orange with the purple or the, it's kind of a fuchsia. Looks good. 
Now the one downside to using um, a washable marker for my outline, obviously, is that it's kind of washing together when I'm doing my other colors. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> but it's okay. It's totally fine. Is um, it maybe get outside the line because um, it just makes it look like it's like fishy. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about getting outside the lines. Yeah. Now remember, we've taught you this. If you do get outside, you can see I got outside the lines. You smooth it out. Smooth it out. So it looks like it's on purpose, you know? There's some effort put behind uh, going out of the lines there. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with going out of the lines, but, you know, make it make it look like you meant to do that. <laughs> right, Bria? Right, how bright's this one? Is that my bright one or is this my bright one? Let's see. Ooh, my goodness. They're both good. I'm glad we're drawing... What are you doing with this one? I'm glad we're drawing a chicken because chickens are really, um, bushy. So, mm. if you get outside the lines, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Outlining my shapes, do you see that? And then I'm going to color in by drawing lines. And also, um, when I'm drawing my lines, I'm drawing in the direction that I would expect my feathers to be. So when it's finished, see how the lines follow the contour of the shape. And so when I'm done, it just kind of, I think it looks a little bit more cohesive. It kind of, that's the, that's the, position everything would normally be in. So. Are you making made up words? Um, listen, child, I make up all kinds of crazy words, but not yet. Those have all been real words. Isn't that weird? Big words though. <laughs> big words. Big word alert. Big word alert. I don't blame you. <laughs> big words. Everybody likes to sound smart sometimes. Not all the time though. If you, if you sound smart all the time, it just kind of get boring, you know? I don't want to sound smart all the time. Just some of the time. I don't sound smart all the time. Just no, but you sound smart a lot of the time because you're actually pretty smart, so. Just putting that out there. I'm okay. excited for school. Woohoo! Are you excited for school? Yeah. Good. Is this a far enough? Let's see here. I don't know. That's different enough. Let's see. Um, need another orange. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty Wait, similar. Orange. No. <laughs> it's horrible. Horrible. Here's the thing. Some of these colors they kind of are are overly. Ooh, 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 ooh. They're almost overly similar. So that'll work. Um, I don't want it to be too similar. I'm actually trying to kind of pick some colors and switch it up a little bit. I need to bring some more brightness down here. I'm going to find a, maybe a bright blue to go with this nice orange here. Or actually maybe a bright green would be fun too. There we go. That looks good. And um, yeah, I like that. I accidentally mixed some blue inside of my pink. It looks so pretty. Ooh, I'm, I'm into it. That's awesome, Bria. Okay, next is the orange. Do you think everybody says orange like orange? Yes, everybody talks like me. No, they... <laughs> Mom. What? No. No? You don't think everybody talks like me? No. Do you guys at home, do you talk like I do? No. <laughs> Bria says no. No. Bria's like, no, Mom. No. Nobody talks like you. Look, okay, I'm just kind of mixing my colors. If I may even do, add a little bit of this one in here. If too. you do talk like my mom, I dare you to dress up like my mom. To dress up? Yeah, well, there's that's not hard to do. You know, like sweatpants and a t-shirt, you're good. Brown hair. <laughs> you're gonna have to buy a wig. You're gonna have to buy a wig, people. I like I like the idea of a wig. That'd be fun. I want to wear a wig, even though it'll probably be itchy. Itchy? Looking for just the right color. Notice how I test these colors. Do you see this? And I've got all these background tests because I like to test my colors um, before I draw with them to make sure I like them. Whoa, that's pretty. Ooh. Do you see this paint color? Put a little of this in here. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. What? Oh, that's looking good, babe. I like it. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a mess here right now, Bria. It's not even funny. <gasps> but look at it. It looks so good. Did you guys just get a shot of my hair there? I think so. <laughs> All right, let's see. I like that. Purple. So as you could see, my mom's hair was brown. 
They've all seen me before, even without makeup. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit down here, and then I'm gonna have to decide, you know, what color I'm going to mix this with, and I'm not sure yet, um, but I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Look at that, that looks great. All right, I might try a couple colors over here on the side. So I like that color, that's the one I just used. Now, let's see here. Could I put like a fun lighter purple next to it? That's too light. Um, how about a fun like blue green? Ooh, taking that into a blue green. Okay, that's fun. Ooh, I kind of like that. Um, let's see, what's this pink color? I found your favorite paint brush. Do that one. Oh, that is my favorite. You're right, girlfriend. Hmm. Ooh, look at this orange. Could I bring it into an orange? Mom. That's fun. What? You don't like my talking? What do I do, Bria? I can't decide. I can't decide. What if at the what if end I go of the drawing, like we mix all that together? Mix it all together. I like it. Okay. Like I'm at the you. end of the season? Yeah. I'm for a you. special event. For a special event. Mix all of our colors. I don't know why I just decided on this color and literally just ran without without even testing, but I don't know. Something about this color really spoke to me. It's a salmon color. I really like it. So mixing my salmon, look at that, I'm drawing it right into this really deep purple color, which you wouldn't really normally put a salmon with a purple, but it's almost like an eggplant purple. It's real dark. I really, really am enjoying that dark to light contrast. It's fun. And almost a warm and a cool color there too. Did you know pink and yellow mixed together Good. makes orange? Pink and yellow? Makes orange. Oh. oh no, look, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to get out there. So that's supposed to be leg right there. <laughs> that's not leg. <laughs> oh boy, Bria. That's not leg? No, I just drew a spot that's not supposed to be legs. You said that's not leg. I know, it's not. It's Look it. No, but like that's you're between the. supposed to say it's not. It's not supposed to be a. Oh, I see. I'm just saying like between the legs. I wasn't meaning to color there, but I colored there, so. It's not supposed to Let's be see. a leg. Not supposed to be a leg. There you go. Not supposed to be a leg. Thank you. She's patting me right now. It's okay, mom. It's okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm just gonna fill it in because I didn't need to do that. So. Ooh, that's a really pretty teal. Done. Done. What? And you're gonna still have one more spot. Okay. <laughs> good. Okay, now you're done. Now you're done? Oh my gosh. We're gonna super fast today. Oh wait, I forgot the legs. Okay. Are you doing a background or are you just skipping that part? Mm, I'm doing spikes for the background. Ooh, you know I like a good stretch background. Love it. I'm almost thinking like we could do a farm week this week. I'd like to do another truck because I loved our truck last time. Um, so that might be fun. Doing a painted truck this time. We did a marker truck last time. So that'll be on Wednesday. And then Friday, of course, we'll do some hand lettering because who doesn't love hand lettering? I love hand lettering. Um, and I will have another um, worksheet that you guys can do the hand lettering with us. Maybe some kind of fun countryfied, countryfied quote, Bria. Countryfied. What's that mean? I don't know. I don't it's really know. not a word. Not a word. I just think I may have made that up, but I don't think so. Mom. You made it up. You think so, huh? Mom. I'm just saying, I think someone else in the world has said the word countryfied before. Well, that does not mean it's real. Okay, well, that happens to be a very good point, Bria. All right, so for my background, check this out. I'm doing like a, a, a windmill kind of uh, rounded burst design. Isn't that cool? And by the way I'm doing it is I'm just starting inside and then I'm doing like this rounded line. It's called a line, people. And I love it. I love line. Line, line, line. Lines! If you guys are learning the elements of art from your awesome art teachers at home or at school this is one you can say fabulous line. 
fabulous use of line. Lines. S. S. Bria wants me to say lines with an S. Because that is right to say lines with an S. You're a little sassy today, friend. Uh, what are we going to do this, th with this kid? I don't know. A little sassy. <laughs> Probably super right, but <laughs> sassy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yes. You looking good. You looking good. You looking good. Ooh, I'm going to add just look at. I can't stop. You know, I just don't know. I don't know a good stopping point ever. So I'm just going to keep adding because, like I said, I don't know when you should stop. It's just hard to know when enough is enough. Hard to know. But look at that. That's pretty. I like that. I'm going to bring a little bit of that in here. It's just like a kind of a pink color, but when you draw over, you know, this yellow orange color, it just gives it a whole new, whole new idea, whole new color, whole new name. There. Yep. Loving it. It's like McDonald's. Loving it. I'm loving it. Where is an orange? I'm going to go like this, too. I found an orange. A little orange. bit more. And I need it for the second Texture color. in this one. There we go. Some texture here. Ooh, that's pretty. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, friends. And let's add some texture. Oh, my gosh. It's like getting to be a texture bomb. Look at that. It's awesome. And even add some texture up here. Did I color everything? Oh, yeah, I guess I did. I got the beak already. For a second, I was like, did I get my beak? I can't remember. But I am going to get like a little, there we go. A little shadow on my beak. All right, that looks good. I'm super happy. And, oh, look it. I can't stop. There we go. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Bria's like, okay, stop, Mom. Stop. Mom. Yeah. You're so dumb. I know I can't help it. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Finally. Um, what do you think, Bria? Anything else I should add, change, do differently? Yeah. No. I think he looks good. You look good, dude. You look good. Yeah. You can definitely, you can definitely wake up, wake up the farm tomorrow morning because, dude, you are looking good. Yes, you are. Okay. You almost ready to show yours? She's, like, going to town with her painting. Once yours is dry, then we can go back in with the Sharpie and kind of outline. Yeah. Or not. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's show off our, our um, paintings here. So this is my first one. This was the example. This came from kind of the original coloring of the um, photo. And then here's the crazy colorful one that I did with you guys today. Notice the um, shape of all the feathers and stuff. It's just all different. And um, that's on purpose. It's just for fun. And then Berea's, oh my gosh, get that green in there, girl, and then I'm gonna show hers because it looks so awesome. Um, so I'm going to, actually, I think these designs, um, I'm gonna make a coloring sheet of these. They're gonna go up on the classroom page, so you can actually go in on your own uh, for the classroom page. The video is gonna be uploaded to the classroom page as well. I will put the link for the classroom page on um, the Facebook page. Here's the thing, it's Monday. I'm gonna be pushing it really hard this week um, so that all of you guys can find the art curriculum. School's gonna be starting here pretty soon. Some of you guys have art classes that you're gonna be taking and some of you kids don't. Some of you are gonna be homeschooled. Um, I actually have heard of some art teachers that are getting moved out of the arts and into classrooms rather than giving the kids art classes. And so I'm hoping to be able to kind of bridge that gap for everybody. And so watch for that curriculum. And the, the uh, cool thing about Moxie Art Parties is I'm a K through 12 certified teacher and I actually teach in a classroom and I will be teaching in a classroom starting in um, September. Our district is kind of pushed back a little bit. So I can bring my art class experience um, to you guys through the web and uh, you can get a real true art experience, art education. Um, and it's only 10, 10 bucks a month, you guys. So there you go. All right, so here is the original from the photo. Here is mine from today, a little bit crazy. I really love this background. We're gonna have to redo that another time. And then here is a Berea's. Isn't that awesome? She decided to paint hers. So I know it's not Watercolor Wednesday, but she decided that it was Watercolor Wednesday because who doesn't love a Watercolor Wednesday? So we're just making it Watercolor Monday. <laughs> Berea's. 
Um, feel free to paint yours at home too. It's super fun. And um, so on uh, Wednesday, do you remember what I said we were going to do on Wednesday? Farm truck. Farm truck. Oh, so yeah. Wednesday, we're going to uh, watercolor farm truck. I can't wait for you guys to join us. And then Friday is uh, hand lettering. Um, watch for the link. Join us on the um, art class. And that's all for us. Right, Bria? That's it. What do we say? Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.